Hi, it's time to register for the fall semester of 2024. And this video will give you a very quick um, tutorial on how to get registered for the fall semester. So the first thing I want to get out of the way is that you need to clear up any tuition holds you may have on your account. So if you do owe any money for the uh, spring semester, that does have to be paid before you can register for classes. Now, if you're on a payment plan and you are current on that payment plan, you will be able to register. The next important thing is knowing who your, your program advisor is. And let's go and look at that right now on how to find out who your program advisor is. So once you're logged into MyTech, click on the student tab and go down to course schedule and degree audit. From this page, come over here to degree audit and view all details. And when you get to your degree audit, you will be able to see your advisors right here at the top of your classes. So make sure that you check that, to find out who your current advisors are. All right now, I'm going to go back to the student tab here. And um, also while you're on that degree audit, it's a great time to take a look at it to see what courses you've taken toward completion of your diploma or degree and what classes you still need to take. And so along with the degree audit and the college catalog, you'll be able to know exactly what you need to uh, do to complete your program. All right, so the reason why knowing who your program advisor is, is so important is because they will be the ones that clear you for registration. You won't be able to register for the next semester without clearance from your advisor. Now, the program advisors will be in contact with you to tell you how they're going to go about uh, the clearance process. Some of them do it in class. Some of them have you send them a schedule. Every program is different, so just follow the lead of your program advisors. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through a registration with our test student here. And the test student is a business student. And so I'm going to register that student for the fall semester. Here we are still on the student tab. And I'm going to go down here and just click online registration. So from here, and don't worry about um, seeing, if you see something that is closed over here, if it says that it's closed, then um, you just need to make sure that you are in the right semester. And you can do that by going to the Add Drop Courses. But right now we're going to click on the Add Drop Courses because we want to see all the courses for the semester. Right here, you have the drop down. Make sure you're in the fall 2024. If not, it could be pretty messy for you. And I suggest that you don't put anything in these boxes when you uh, get ready to register. Sometimes the um, spacing and everything kind of makes it a little crazy to get it uh, the right course to come up. So I just think it's best to leave it alone and just say search. Then it's going to come up with all the courses that are being offered in the fall semester. Now, if you do not see the boxes in this ad column, that means that your advisor has not cleared you for registration yet. So remember, that is your program advisor that you would need to reach out to. But when registration opens for your program, you should see those boxes. Until then, you won't see those boxes. All right, so um, like I said, I'm a business major and I know that I need to take a couple of business classes. So down here, I can use these little um, thumbnails down here to find the courses that I need. 
And down here, I'm gonna keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. All right, I know that I need to take a foundations of business course. So I'm looking here, here's a class that I need to take. If I click on it, it will give me more information about the class, like the course description. And over here, I can see when it is being offered and where it's going to uh, take place. Now look at this one here, this Business 101 21 AC, AO. That is an online course. Now look over here at the dates that the course is, um, is occurring. It's only going to be an eight week course. It starts on August 26th and ends on October 18th. So that A right over here in the course code means accelerated and the O means online. Uh, in the email that you received regarding registration, you will see a breakdown of the different course delivery types that we have at Southeast Tech. And A for accelerated, O for online are considered delivery types. All right, let's get to registering. I want to register for this Monday, Wednesday at 11 o'clock uh, Business 101 class. And I am going to register for this online course for uh, business communication. And I see here that that is a full semester course as well as the other one that I registered for. So I'm gonna just click add courses. Awesome, it says that both of them were successfully added to my registration record. Now, if anything would change and I would like to um, drop these classes, change some things around, all I have to do is hit the box in the drop, hit dropped courses, and then go back in and hit the search button again and find the, the classes I need. So I know that I need a math course for my program. So I'm going to click down into the math and let's see, we've got some here. Let's see if there's some more on the next page. All right, there's a math class that's full semester long online. I'm gonna have to choose that one because that works best in my schedule. Add courses and now I will see that I am registered for Foundations of Business, Business Communications, and that Math Applications course. When you see these courses right here, that means that you are officially registered for the classes. Now, this is a really great feature here because a lot of program advisors would like to see that you have registered for classes and make sure that you've registered for the correct classes. So right here, you can send an email to your program advisor. Now, I do wanna show you something on uh, the courses. Some of you will be in classes that have a lab component. Let's take a look at chemistry. That is one that will have a lab component. So here's the, the chem survey, so that's the lecture. Here's the chem lab. You have to make sure that you register for both the lecture and the lab. So that will um, be the case in specifically a lot of health programs. All right, you are ready to register for the uh, fall 2024 semester. The classes or the registration will be available to you after we return from spring break. We will start on March 21st. We go by building, so make sure that you know when your program is ready to register. And the registration opens up at 7.30 in the morning each of those days. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the Student Success Center or the Registrar's Office. We'd be happy to help you out.